today I want to talk about why you would rototill and why you would not rototill. That's coming up next. There's a time and a place for everything. And sometimes you just gotta get her done. And a tiller can do that. Um, what we're looking at here, this soil, it's kind of hard, dry. It was, um, most of it wasn't tart for the winter because we had carrots in here and we were harvesting off them. And when we finished the carrots, it was still winter. We pulled the tunnels off and pretty much just let the sit, soil sit raw. And it got a little hard packed, probably because we were pulling carrots out of muddy and cold ground in the winter and all that extra surface area caused the dryness of the early spring, which we have here, to crust up the soil like this. And sometimes to deal with this and just till the hell out of it right now, put your amendments in, tarp it, let it sit for a while, is just way easier than trying to drive a fork and my tilther through here. I don't want to do that. I've got better things to do. It's not going to destroy the soil. It'll be fine. We'll amend it. We'll let it sit for a while. Let all the weeds germinate. Flame weed it before we plant it if we need to. And you know, just get it done. Uh, however, the times that I don't want to till, it's, it's kind of on a needed, it's on a need basis. So these beds, you can see here that are really nice. These were left for at least five weeks with a tarp. We had winter crops in them. We tarped them about five weeks. Actually, it might have been about six weeks ago. And you can see the nice decomposition here. Lots of bugs on the, on the soil. It's nice and soft. I'll be able to push a fork through here and run my, uh, my tilter through it nicely. So here's my fork. It'll drive down nice and easy down there. Still a bit of resistance in some spots, but it's not bad. So, I don't want to rototill these be, uh, for two reasons. One is I don't need to. There's not really going to be a benefit to it because they're not going to be that hard to work by hand in the tilter. And the other is, the main reason is, I want to plant these beds next week or in two weeks. So I, I don't want to bring up new weed seeds by tilling it. I'm just going to do the, the top layer so I'm not going to disturb them. That way they'll be nice and clean when I plant them. So those are the main reasons that I see for tilling and, and no tilling. I mean, the other reason you would till is when you're preparing plots and I've showed you guys this process before. Um, but uh, those are the main ones from a production standpoint, why we, do, why we would do it or why we wouldn't. If you can think of any others, put your comments below and like and share these videos with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Check out my online course, ProfitableUrbanFarming.com and my book, TheUrbanFarmer.co.